There are dozens of third-party apps that greatly improve Destiny 2, so which ones are the best at what they do and why? Well, I've compiled a list of the best free apps that everyone should be using right now. I'm Marshix, and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy the video, all I ask for is a like down below, and let us know your favorites in the comments. Also, this video is not sponsored by any of these websites, I just wanted to share them with you to enhance your Destiny experience. Links to everything will be in the description. First up is the best resource for checking god rolls for weapons. D2 Gunsmith will show you all possible rolls for every weapon and allows you to select them to build your own roll. This will update the stats of the weapon too, so you'll be able to easily compare which combinations of perks, masterworks, and even mods are the best for you. In the left of the screen, it will also calculate the maximum range your weapon will have and your approximate reload speed based on your chosen magazine. This is much faster and easier than testing it yourself. You can also compare multiple of your rolls to clearly see the exact stat difference side by side and help you pick which one is better. For item managers, there are two that I really like. First is Ishtar. This has a very clean and simple interface. You can easily transfer gear to and from your characters and your vault with the click of a button or just by dragging it to the character you want. Just hover over an item to see all its information or you can further inspect it just like you would in game. This also has sections where you can view any vendor's inventory and the collections and triumphs tabs identical to the ones in game. This app is available on both mobile and PC so most people will have access to it. The other item manager I recommend is, well, Destiny Item Manager. This is also on mobile and PC and has very similar functions. You can transfer gear the same way you would on Ishtar, check vendors, triumphs, and all that stuff. The UI isn't as nice, but what it lacks in looks, it makes up for in functions. I'll get into that in a minute, but in my opinion, if you're going to be mainly using mobile, I would highly recommend Ishtar over Dim purely for ease of use, but if you're planning on using PC, you may decide on Dim over Ishtar. So what additional functions does Dim have? Loadouts. You can create a build using any armor or weapons you want, then press save to keep it for later. After that, you can press apply and all your gear will be transferred to your character and automatically equipped. Ishtar also has loadouts, but to my knowledge, you aren't able to use it to change mods from the app. With Dim, you can save an equipped loadout, then change around mods or ornaments, and whenever you click apply, all your gear will be reverted back to what you saved it as. This makes it easy to use multiple loadouts that share some of the same armor pieces, but require completely different mods. For that reason, this is the best app for creating and swapping loadouts, and it has those other uses that it does a great job at too. When it comes to actually helping you construct a good stat build, you definitely want to use D2 Armor Picker. This website will take every single armor piece you own and show you every possible combination to help you pick the best. For instance, if I want 100 recovery, 100 discipline, and 70 mobility, it will show me all possible builds that would let me use those minimum stats. If you aren't able to reach a certain stat amount, let's say I want 100 strength, it will gray it out and show you what is and isn't possible. Below, you can even filter through exotics. If you want to build using the stag, these are all the possible combinations using the stag. And below that, you can even take into account stat mods like Powerful Friends and subclass fragments like Whisper of Conduction. Once you find a stat spread that you're happy with, click on it and it'll tell you which armor pieces you need and which mods you need to equip. You can find these for yourself, or you can click Copy Dim Query, then head over to Dim, paste it into the search bar, and it will highlight all the pieces you need. Creating the perfect loadout is usually very overwhelming, but this website makes build crafting super simple and stress-free. You can even get more in-depth than what I've shown, but I hope you get the idea and play around with it for yourself. Stat Checkers There are many great stat checking websites, so I'll go over my favorites for each activity. Trials Report This will show you all the trial stats you could ask for from any player. Just type in a name and you'll see that player's KD, number of flawlesses, the weapons and mods they're currently using, and much more. It even shows their fire team members too, so you can quickly scout out your opponents or even your own teammates. Crucible Report This shows anyone's stats across any playlist, the weapons they recently used, and the results of past matches. Raid Report This shows total clears of raids, your fastest times, the number of kills and deaths you have, and if you do a cool achievement like a low man or day one, it'll remind you at the top. This also shows the leaderboards for the whole Destiny community, but they're filled with obvious cheaters, so take that for what it's worth. Dungeon Report This is almost identical to Raid Report, but for dungeons and exotic missions. Nightfall Report This tells you the number of completions of each strike, your high scores, fastest speedruns, leaderboards, and even which ones drop Nightfall-specific rewards. We all forget things from time to time, so it's always helpful to have a checklist of things you have already done for the week and things you still need to do. My favorite checklist is on Braytech. This website and mobile app has a beautiful UI that clearly shows you which powerful and pinnacle challenges you need to do, the raids and raid challenges for the week, 
and concise yet very detailed information for the current Nightfall, Lost Sectors, Empire Hunt, and Ascendant Challenge. I love how all of this is laid out, and there's much more to the app than that. It also has a well-designed item manager, triumphs tab, collections tab with a search bar, a way to easily track your quests and bounties, and much more. This is one of the best websites for all of this, and it's all wrapped up into a very user-friendly and gorgeous app. You ever need help preparing for a new season? Destiny Recipes has got you covered. This will show you all the recommended preparations going into a new season, like saving bounties, holding onto legendary shards and enhancement cores, weapons you may want, and more. You can even adjust the items and quantities to fit what you're aiming for. It will then scan your account and tell you how close you are to your goals. This is a handy tool every few months to prep for the coming expansions without needing to tear up your vault looking for things or risk forgetting something last minute. The best place to get Destiny 2 guides like this is right here at youtube.com slash marshix, so be sure to leave a like on the video if you are finding this helpful. The number one place to check for hidden or unreleased items in Destiny 2 is light.gg. This website helps you find anything in the game. You can search for new weapons, exotics, hidden triumphs, everything released in a given season, and more. Click on a weapon to see all its perks, or click on a perk to see all the weapons that can have it. Maybe you're looking for a solar linear fusion rifle and want to see all your options. Just apply a few filters and search for it. You see this exotic ship? It has not been released yet, and zero people have it. But we know it exists in the game because we can see it right here. This is an amazing tool for finding anything you can think of in Destiny. You can collect bounties while in orbit using the Destiny Companion app. I believe this is the only app that allows you to do that. Just click a button to purchase bounties from any vendor, while in orbit, or any social space. It also gives you access to many of the other features that Ishtar, Dim, and Braytek have, but honestly they aren't great. It does have one feature that I do really like though, LFG. You can easily find a fire team through the companion app because a lot of people already use it and it's very cross-platform friendly. You can join an already created post just by clicking one button, or you can set up your own post by pressing the yellow circle in the bottom right. You can set it up for any activity you can think of, apply any other filters, and once people join you, you can click a button on your phone to instantly invite them in the game. No need to search for their bungee name in game and wonder, does it need a hashtag? Did I misspell it? Is it an I or an L? It takes away all the needless confusion. So that's why this is the best app for LFGing in Destiny 2. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy this other video with some of the best exotic combos that changed the game. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.